But our big story tonight at 5, gun down at a gas station. The family of a man killed says it was all over some stolen sweets. Fox 6's Aaron Maben is live with exactly what unfolded early this morning. Aaron? Ted and Mary, around 11 hours after this deadly shooting happened, the crowd continues to grow at this Clark gas station. You can see the family members and friends of the 29-year-old who was killed this morning have gathered out here. The store is closed, and they are literally blocking the pump, so this gas station is getting no business. They are preparing for a vigil tonight, and family members tell Fox 6 the victim was stealing when the store security shot and killed him. That's my firstborn son. Mm. A mother's pain and a father's frustration. Why? That's it, just why? Family members say 29-year-old Isaiah Allen died after a shooting Wednesday morning. It happened at the Clark gas station near Roosevelt and Tetonia. And he was laying on the ground. And uh, the tape was up and I went through the tape. Natalie Easter says her son suffered from mental health issues. She says before the shooting, Allen stole sweets. I was told he um, took a box of 25 cent cakes. That's when she says someone working as store security shot him. Milwaukee police say they know who they're looking for. But a gun should not come into play, especially over something so meaningless, over some 25 cent cakes, are you for real? Family says Allen was preparing to move to Louisville to get help for his mental health. And I'm like, what? I was just there last night to bring him his clothes so he can leave today. Milwaukee police have not confirmed the circumstances leading up to the shooting. We tried to make contact with the gas station employees, but workers would not unlock the front doors. I don't know what more to say other than um, he had a lot of family that loved him and he, he need to, um, he wasn't supposed to leave like this. The victim's mother says when something like this happened in the past, she actually came back and paid for the items. She calls this senseless, the shooting very senseless. Now, family members have not said how long they plan to stay out here, but they have been out here all day again, blocking the pumps and making sure that no one could buy anything inside of this store. Milwaukee police continued to search for that shooter tonight. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Aaron Maven, Fox 6 News. And Aaron, speaking of Milwaukee police, so they at this point haven't intervened. They're allowing that blockade, if you will, at the gas station, correct? Yeah, Mary, and if you look over my shoulder on this side, you can see there is a Milwaukee police officer from District 5 who is here. There's one on this side. We did see some more officers actually in the parking lot a little bit earlier, so they are aware of the situation, and they are likely preparing for this vigil that's expected to happen soon. All right, Aaron Maven, thank you for the update.